for one, Morgan won seven blue ribbons and four red ribbons at her horse show. What is the ratio of red ribbons to blue ribbons? So remember, two separates them. Whatever goes first is on top. Whatever comes second is always on bottom. So we have four red, so it can't be either one of these two, to seven blue. So four to seven would be letter B. Number two, the table shows the number of wins and losses for four hockey teams. The table shows the number of wins and losses for four hockey teams. Which two teams have the same ratio of wins to losses? So you would have 14 to 7, 15 to 5, 15 to 3, and 12 to 6. Okay, but we need to simplify these to see if they are the same. So you can divide a 7 out, you get 2 to 1. You can divide a 5 out here. That would be 3 to 1. You can divide a 3 out, 5 to 1. And then the last one, you can divide a 6, so you get 2 to 1. So the two that have the same would be lightning and eagles. So letter D. So it says, Jason used a half a cup of kernels to make 16 cups of popcorn. How many cups of popcorn would he make if he used 7.5? or 0.75 cups of kernels. So you, this is where you set up that proportion. 0.5 cups of kernels, 16 cups of popcorn. So we don't know how many cups of popcorn. That goes on bottom, and but we know we're going to 0.75 cups of kernels. So we gotta go from 0.5 to 0.75. So to get from 0.5 to 0.75, you're multiplying by 1.5. So you gotta do the same thing down here. 16 times 1.5. So you get 30, 8, drop a 0, 6, 1. And then you got to move the decimal once, so it's 24 cups. Letter C. Number 4. There are 24 children and 16 adults at the playground. What is the ratio of children to the total number of people? And select all the equivalent ratios. So, 24 children, and now we have the a total would be all of it together. So, that would be 40. So, the first one, A, is the original. Now, all the equivalent means you have to simplify this. So, you can divide an 8 out, and you get 3 fifths, 3 to 5. So, that's E. Okay, you could also divide a 4 out. And you get 6 to 10, which is on here. Okay, so that would be all the equivalent ratios. A, um, E, and C. Number five, a museum recorded that it had 988 visitors in four hours. What is the unit rate in visitors per hour? So now you're finding the unit rate. So basically you're just doing 988 divided by 4. Well, 4 goes into 9 two times. 4 goes into 18 four times. 4 goes into 28 seven times. So 247, letter B. Okay, number 6. The graph shows the ratio of apples to oranges in the different fruit baskets that Keenan makes. If Keenan makes a basket with six apples, what is the ratio of apples to oranges written as a fraction? So if he makes it with six apples, right here, six. If you're looking at this, staying on the same line, okay, or you can use the original, four apples to six oranges. We want to have six apples now. We don't know how many oranges, but this is not in simplest form. So divide a 2 out. Well, 2 goes into 6 times 3 times 3, and we get 9. 9 oranges. Okay, the back page. And for middle schools, the teacher to student ratio is equivalent. How many teachers and students are at each school? So we have 15 teachers, 330 students. So the best thing to do is to find the unit rate. Find what they're doing each time. Because they're all equivalent. So 330 divided by 15. Well, that goes in there two times. That's 30. 
So it's 22 students per teacher. So for each one of these, you're going to have to multiply by 22. This one you would divide by 22. Multiply by 22. So 23 times 22 is 506. 550 divided by 22 equals 25 teachers. And then 36 times 22, you get 792 students. So that's how you fill in the table there. Okay, Ms. Patel drove 165 miles in three hours. If she continues driving at the same speed, how many miles will Ms. Patel drive in seven hours? So you need to first get this in simplest form. You need to find the unit rate. So 165 divided by 3. Well, 3 goes into 16. 5 times, that's 15. We get 1. So it's 53 miles every hour. Well, then you just do 53 times 7. 371 miles. Number 9. Pablo uses three, 13 and a half cups of flour to make 6 batches of muffins. How many cups of flour does he use per batch? So if you're looking per batch, you're looking for the unit rate. So you're going to do six batches divided by the 13 cups, or 13 and a half cups. So you got to move this, move this. We're going to add a decimal and a zero. Actually, just go ahead and cross off number nine. I don't like number nine. The language is not good. Okay, Melinda earns $48 for every three lawns she mows in her neighborhood. She wants to buy a skateboard that costs $208, including tax. How many lawns will Melinda have to mow to buy the skateboard? So, she, mow, she mows three lawns for $48. Okay, she wants to buy a $200, $208 skateboard. So, we need to figure out what she makes per lawn and go from there. All right, so Melinda is making $48 for three lawns. Well, if you divide this out and find the unit rate, she's making $16 per lawn. Okay, she wants to buy a skateboard that costs $208, including tax. How many lawns will Melinda have to mow to be able to buy the skateboard? <coughs> so basically, she's got to do 208 Divided by 16. Well, 16 goes into 20 one time. 16 goes into 48 four times. So she's going to need to do 14 lawns total. Okay, number 11. Kaya recorded the distance she rode her bike during four different workouts. She rode the, uh, the same number of kilo kilometers per hour during each workout. So... 30 kilometers, she was at one and a half hours. Okay, so using this, all right, this is the rate they give us. We need to find the other ones. So basically, we're going to do 30 divided by one and a half. Well, since there's a decimal on the outside, you got to move it. So that becomes 300 divided by 15. Well, that's 2. So it would be 20. So it's 20 every hour. So in this case, if it's 10, this would be 0.5, half of an hour. So then two hours would be 40, because 20, 20 kilometers per hour. And then now we're at 70. So if we're at 70, it would be three and a half hours. So then now you can graph these points on the uh, the graph itself. So 0.5 would be at 10. Okay, one and a half, we're at 30. Four or two, we're at 40. And then three and a half at 70. So then looking at this and knowing this, how many did she ride per hour? 20 kilometers per hour. 